What is it about crystal sticks that aids in development of right brain, left brain patterning? Well, because the activity itself requires you to stay active with the motion of what you're doing. You have to maintain a balance and then you have to move the baton into the next level of action or direction of action. And because you're alternating left and right, left and right, it's requiring a skill to develop the, uh, the right and the left back and forth. And as you play more dynamically or the skill spreads itself around, then of course a corresponding development is taking place mentally as you're spreading this hand-eye coordination around. And it's a balanced coordination. So when you alternate left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand with an activity that requires you to both pay attention to an action that you've just created as well as reacting to that action to keep the action going, it creates a continuous line of motor skill so that a motor skill can start here, it can go through curves, twist, it can bend back on itself, go forward. All kinds of directional shifts are taking place and this motor skill continues to develop and grow each time it achieves something it hadn't uh, achieved before. Uh, if you use the crystal stick as a, in a program where you're literally going to take this activity and weave it around the body, uh, as we say, developmentally you're claiming the space around your body or you're claiming your bubble and I'll demonstrate what I mean. I'm twisting my feet slightly as I turn but then I'm twisting around myself and I'm going to go as far as I can go without literally moving my feet and then I'm going to cover this whole area with motor skilled activity right hand left hand alternately all the way around and developmentally uh, we actually add uh, another level where it's both hands together at once where I would literally put both hands together like this to create a commonality between the hemispheres. This is what it looks like. In any case, we stretch this motor skill in every direction around the body and then use that whole area as an exercise. And so we might start an action way over here and then move that action all the way around, keeping it going back on itself so that we have continuity and of course, correspondingly, there is a neurological growth that takes place, a web work then develops that corresponds to those areas. And that neurological web work is certainly available to us all the time. It simply doesn't go away, nor does it simply pop up when we're doing the skill and when we're doing the sticks. That neurological web work being so available contributes itself in the form of a foundational area of movement and stance within which you're emotionally complete, within which you've matured these motions into a whole area. So several layers uh, are benefited at the same time. The, the emotional layers are benefit, benefited, the mental layers are benefited, of course, and of course the physical uh, layers are benefited. So as you uh, further develop with the sticks, you can not just benefit by integrating the two hemispheres, the left and right sides, but you, you can literally develop the integrity they have together to act as a unit. So the personality of the person that is going through this process of learning to do the sticks in all these directions and that sort of thing, it's benefiting because it's no longer uh, being trained just to hemispherically reside, so to speak, in the left hemisphere the way most of us are because that's where the analytical portion of our thinking resides. What tends to happen to a stick player is that because of the left, right, left, right, left, right process that uh, you're following in doing the sticks, uh, it becomes the new baseline where you reside. So your normal reaction to events would be more coming from a centered place rather than from a primarily left-brained uh, or analytical place. Uh, I think translating that it means that you'd be more of a human person. You'd be more warm, more centered, more able to perceive both sides of the story, so to speak, or able to perceive the emotional side as well as the 
uh, intellectual side. We call that a well-rounded personality. Uh, judges uh, tend to have a need for having a well-rounded personality in order to s oversee just the facts and see what the real situation is uh, in various uh, situations. So the idea with the sticks then uh, in this left brain, right brain stuff is that yes, it de does develop a, a comprehensive web work in all kinds of directions. It is amplified if you follow it as a exercise regimen and of course several other layers of benefits come of a left right left brain right brain developmental uh, nature in other words because you get this integrity between the two sides uh, when you're you approach problems for problem solving it tends to be done in a more holistic way in other words uh, instead of just dissecting something by its pieces you tend to look at it in a more whole way and see the whole object as well as the pieces and that is a reflection of this left brain right brain integration uh, so creativity is enhanced in that way productivity of course is enhanced because you're able to get beyond uh, the the trees to see the whole forest as well as see the trees uh, or to see the bits and pieces as well as the whole object and of course that means lots of things in life uh, become easier rather than more difficult because you're not getting caught up um, emotionally less reactive to things that don't have deeper meaning in other words instead of just getting angry at little small things because it mentally doesn't fit your ideas you're able to soften that with a more full approach to life which means that you don't react negatively as much you're more even in your reactions and you do recover quicker when you do react so all of these are elements that come about as a result of uh, developing with crystal sticks play and uh, let's come back to crystal sticks and playing there is quite a bit of substantial difference between someone who does crystal sticks as a toy and simply does a few simple movements such as uh, we'll call it the tick tock or the opening movements and a few flip movements and things like this and so if you're static in your movements and you stand there and this is all you do then you'll only get a limited result from that but if you start to link these movements and do these wrap around twist around movements that start to spread hand-eye coordination in all those directions and of course you're taking this limited area of movement and literally spreading it and giving yourself a larger slice of your own potential so to speak uh, the more you do that and the more dynamic you get within doing that and, and uh, certainly dancing and all other kinds of movements come into play here then uh, the more benefit you'll get in all the directions possible uh, as well as a certain mental exuberance uh, is triggered and that exuberance spreads itself in other directions in life so that you get excited you get happy Interferons get released as a result of the activity of course uh, you're like a runner who likes to run a lot and jog a lot you get that that winded happy exhilarated feeling also you're releasing stress all the time that you're doing that as well uh, I think that historically in our genetic structure uh, we share certain things with the other animals of the world and one of the, those things would be this fight or flight uh, syndrome and flight could even go back to our relationship to birds and the fact that they do fly and we can see uh, reflected in our bodies and in our shoulder blades this this remnant that uh, developed their direction in the area of flight and in us became the shoulder blade uh, in the brain there is a, also a a reflective place that reflects this as being a uh, a wing if you would and when you're doing sticks you're literally triggering some of that flight response pattern especially when you're doing two at once you're triggering this flight response pattern so there's an emotional component to that and you get to uh, live out or experience that emotional component which is like an excitation and it's this it's sort of like uh, reminiscent of someone getting up on their toes and being so excited that they're like way 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 up here it's just that you're doing it in a real fundamental way and so you're experiencing that excitation and getting a benefit from it uh, by releasing or triggering these genetically based fundamental responses you could say uh, you're triggering the wing response then uh, I suspect that a lot of research will be going that direction to show what that winged response is and how we might benefit from it.